what's up and welcome to this new youtube video in this youtube video i'll be going over the dna test i did with self decode why you should be doing a dna test and what you can get out of it so first about the dna test why should you actually do one and what is it a dna test is a saliva based test so you basically just spit some uh, saliva into a tube they analyze that and then they have your dna you only have to do this once in your entire life because once you have the files, uh, your DNA doesn't change. For example, if you test your blood, you wanna test it every six months because your blood changes, of course, but your DNA doesn't change. So that's about the DNA test. Why would you actually do it? Because it gives you an insight into your genetic blueprint. So for example, for me, I am genetically predisposed to higher caffeine sensitivity. I have a gene that makes sure that I don't break down caffeine as quickly and me knowing that, then I know I like there's no if I drink caffeine even at like 1 p.m., then it has an effect on my sleep later at night. So that are stuff that you can get out of the DNA test. Also about optimizing your diet, nutrition, all due to your genetic predispositions. I'll show you that later. But if you really want to go for optimized health and you want to know what's right for your body, you need to do a DNA test. Because if you also pair the DNA test with a blood test, then you really know how things are standing. For example, you could have a genetic predisposition on higher cholesterol. And then if you see in your blood that you actually have the higher cholesterol, you know you need to do something about it. And even if you don't have that higher cholesterol, you know it's something that's a risk factor. So it's something you have to keep on tracking in your blood to make sure that it doesn't go higher. So a bit about Self Decode, this is the company I did it through. This is also the company with P Club, the company, uh, our company that we let people trust through. So if people do a DNA trust, then we let them go through Self Decode. Why? Because the founder of Self Decode, Joe Cohen, is an ultimate biohacker himself. He's a very funny guy. You should follow him on Instagram. He has very good content about supplements, about optimizing your health and really going for personalized health. So yeah, this is basically what it is. It's 200 bucks and you just have to do it once. And then you um, yearly, you can also upload your blood results and stuff like that. And this is a bit how it looks like, how you can uh, track stuff, but I'll show you my actual DNA test for you so you can see what it's like, right? Okay, so let's get into that stuff. Awesome, so this is my actual DNA test. For this video, I'll show you the introductory report and I'll show you what kind of things I got out of it. There's one thing that's so sick that came out of this, I can't even believe it when I first read it. So how it works is that it analyzes your DNA on different factors. So for example, it looks at brain health, it looks at metabolic health, and then you can very clearly see what's the problem. You can see the recommendations based on that, and then you can devise your own action plan. And the cool thing is, is that they all are supported by science. So for example, if you look at brain health, we'll look at one uh, a bit later, then it says, for example, for brain health, omega-3 is a very good thing to take. It's supported by science, four out of five, and the effectiveness is three out of five, for example. So you know exactly like how scientifically validated it is. You're not just doing something, you're actually doing something that's based on science. So let's get over my test, right? It's uh, it's cool to see it. My brain health, this is a, a very important one. I'm more likely prone to stress. And this is something that I've also noticed in myself is that if I, for example, work out at seven or 8 p.m. at night and I go to bed at 11, I can't fall asleep. And why? Because my body can't um, cope with stress as good as other people. And that's not uh, a big problem. It's just something I have to take into account is that I can't really work out late at night because then my stress system is still up during uh, when I want to go to sleep and I can't wind down as quickly. That's why, for example, also I'm not as sensitive or I'm very sensitive to ca caffeine because if I take caffeine at 7 p.m., it also raises your stress level, it raises your cortisol, and then I can't fall asleep at night. So this is a very important thing for me to take into account, that if I want to perform at my peak, I need to mitigate my stress levels through, for example, lifestyle-based things as mindfulness, meditation, or through supplementation such as uh, GABA brain food or ashwagandha, things that lower the cortisol levels. 
So that's for brain health. It was a very important insight. I already knew this, like intuitively I knew this, but it was cool seeing it back in the DNA test that was actually the case. Then for cardiovascular health, so I have a high risk for heart health. So that means that I really have to take into account my heart health. For example, do more cardiovascular exercise, more zone two exercise, just so I can really look at my heart health and that it is right. And the thing is you also wanna pair this with blood tests. So for example, look at your cholesterol, look at other markers that are associated with heart health. So you can find out like, hey, I have a higher risk for this, but is that actually the case? So that was cardiovascular uh, health. This is also a very, very uh, funny thing. Let me see if I can open up uh, this whole thing without it going away. Yeah, cool. So to give you a backstory, I've had gut issues for the longest time and my mother has uh, irritable bowel syndrome. My grandmother has celiac disease. So this is when um, uh, you, how do you call it? This is, when you are gluten sensitive or you have a gluten allergy. So if my mother, uh, my grandmother even eats something that is tainted by gluten, she already has a very adverse reaction. And for digestive issues, I have typical, but then if you look at infections and inflammation, I have more likely in every area. So I'm more likely to have gut inflammation, more likely to have a gastrointestinal infection and all of that stuff, right? So that means that I really need to take into account inflammation of my gut. So for example, then you can do a gut test, you can do a microbiome test, which I've did as well. And I also take a gut health smoothie daily just to keep my gut health in check because I know it's a weak point for me. You can see it here. And that's how you can optimize or personalize your health. And it was very funny to see this because I already knew this. Um, I'm taking into account my health very well. And still, sometimes I, I get those issues, right? And that's why I have to focus on it even more because through my genetics, it's something that's a weak point for me. For you, it could be something else. It could be cholesterol or whatever. For me, it's really inflammation of the gut. It's one of the weak points for me. And that's something I have to focus on in order to get to optimized health. So food intolerances, um, also typical gluten sensitivity. It's also something I've noticed. And this is again, something you can check with an intolerance test as well. And then the gut microbiome have typical diversity. So let's go back to the uh, to the other ones, right? Metabolic health. These are quite good. So I have less likely to have high blood sugar. Um, um, I have typical insulin resistance. These are not. These are good to know um, because, for example, blood sugar also has to do with your focus. If you have high blood sugar, you'll notice that your focus is a lot less. So this is a good thing for me. Longevity, I have higher longevity, so that's nice. <laughs> I'll be able to live longer. Now, I don't know how that actually um, works, but I have a higher chance in, uh, in longevity, in aging well. Then my hormones, reproductive health. So I have higher levels of testosterone. I've also seen this in my blood test. Um, I have typical likelihood of the other things. And then sleep and fatigue. These were also quite fun to see, right? I have a higher sleep quality. So due to my genetics, I easily have more quality sleep. And that's something I've noticed in my sleep as well, tracking my sleep with the Aura Ring, is that I do have a higher sleep quality. Even if I don't do all the stuff related to sleep, I still have good quality sleep. But on the other hand, I do have more likely chronic fatigue. And that's something I really had to biohack for myself. So before I even did this test, I already knew that, that I, I was more prone to have fatigue. So for example, two, three years ago, I took naps all the time. Now, because I biohack myself and I'm taking, for example, a beef liver supplement, I'm exercising well due to my, um, yeah, my, what, based on my blood, based on my DNA test. And now I see I can sort of biohack that chronic fatigue through the lifestyle, through the supplementation uh, things. But it's something I have to take into account that I'm more likely to have that chronic fatigue. And the thing is with the DNA, hearing me talk about this, you might think like, oh, but now you're just putting it in your mind that you have this. No, it's just a predisposition you have. So it might not be the case, but it is something that if you already have a hunch about it and then you see it back in your DNA test, then you know it's true, right? For me, for example, I already knew that caffeine was giving me bit more anxiety, it was giving me more stress, and it also made sure I couldn't sleep as well at night. And then in my DNA test, I saw that I have a higher caffeine sensitivity. So that 
shows me that the hunch I had about caffeine was true. Okay, so let's go over to the next one, skin and beauty. For me, not <laughs> that that uh, that fun or that important. Pain, more likely to have chronic pain, more likely to have a headache. So that was also interesting to see. I haven't really had chronic pain or headaches, but it's something yeah, to take into account. And then immunity and inflammation. This is also one that's very important to look at if you look at your immune system. And I've noticed this as well. Now, through taking cold showers, through looking at my immune system, maybe I get sick once a year. So in the past week, I've had a cold. But in the past, if I look at five years ago, like my the whole winter, I would have a stuffy nose, a runny nose and stuff like that. So that's also what it shows here and also more likely to have inflammation. That's also what I see back in my HRV, for example. HRV is your measure of stress. And I noticed that for me, it's a bit lower than in other people. And one of the reasons that could be is that I have more inflammation in my body. So it's something I can target. And I can target it, for example, through taking curcumin, through grounding, to all of that stuff, just to get it lower um, and make sure I don't have as much inflammation in my body. Personality, this is also a fun one to see. Um, so yeah, more conscientiousness. Uh, with these things, it's like, okay, I, I don't know if that's really the, the case, if you can see it in DNA, but it was fun to see. Now, one thing that is not in here, and let me find it for you guys, is... So this is the one I wanted to show you. This is absolutely insane. If you look at cannabis addiction, then I have a 98% uh, you, my risk to getting a cannabis addiction is 98% more than uh, the rest of the population. So that's insane because maybe you've seen it in my story video. In my When I started studying, I, there was a period I honestly was addicted to weed. I smoked every day. Then there was a period I didn't smoke every, every day. But for a period of like two, three years, cannabis was a big part of my life. I smoked it almost daily, like, every weekend but there were periods I smoked it every daily and seeing this is absolutely insane that due to my genetics this is like it shows that I have um, uh, more tendency to have cannabis addiction right it's insane if you for example see it now and you see like hey I have a higher tendency to have alcohol addiction you can also prevent that because you can already see like hey I have a more tendency to have that and then you can change your behavior based on that for now I don't smoke weed ever again and this showed me I need to never smoke it again. Even not if I feel like things are going well and I can just do it once. No, I'm like, I have such a high genetic predisposition to be addicted to weed that there's no way in hell I'm going to do that again. Um, because there might ha something might happen that I get addicted again and I don't want to have that. So this one was actually insane. And then the cool thing is about self decode is that they look at all of your DNA about all the risk factors you have and all the things that are going wrong in your DNA. And then they make an action plan based on that. So for example, exercise for me is the most important thing. If I exercise regularly, it targets a lot of the, the genetic predispositions I have. So for example, for headache, heart health, chronic pain, allergy, stress, Exercise is one of the most important things for that. So if I do exercise, I target a lot of my genetic predispositions. So this, for example, one I added to my action plan, and then it goes over a lot of them. So for example, for me, second is relaxation techniques. Avoiding cigarette smoke is the third one. Um, vitamin D is also a funny one because I've seen in my blood results that my vitamin D is low. And now I also see here that vitamin D is very important for me in order to reduce gut inflammation, other inflammation, chronic fatigue, chronic pain. So then I have like, um, it showed me two times, right? One, it shows me in my DNA, vitamin D is very important. The second thing is in my blood, I see my vitamin D is lower. So then I know, hey, I need to be out more in the sun. I need to take a vitamin D supplement. And that will, for me, personalize my health. So then the last one I wanted to show you is, for example, curcumin. It's a known anti-inflammatory. It's, it's a herb. And it also targets allergies, gut inflammation, other inflammation, stress. And it's something I'm taking every day right now. And this is basically how you can optimize and personalize your health based on your DNA, based on your blood. And if you really want to go to the next level 
with your health and performance, then doing something like this is essential, right? If you don't even know that you're sensitive to caffeine or you don't even know what kind of diet is right for you, then you can't really personalize your health. Every human is different, every DNA is different, every person is different, and that's why you need to do tests like these. So I'll link it down below, Self Decode. If you have any questions about it, please send me a message through Instagram, you can contact me there, and then I'll see you guys in the next video.